The U's could start lambing anytime now. You are how many days early? Why do I feel like I'm building IKEA furniture right now? No Grinch this year. It's a new little who. He's so cute. We had a few first time U's that were trying to prolapse and she was one. Yeah, I'm looking at you. We should give you a better name than that. Mm -hmm. Day in the life of the Golden Girls. Like, what do they do all day? Good morning. Uh, we are on Wednesday today, hump day. Today is also Jack's birthday. We did go out last night to celebrate and it was great. We went to a Japanese restaurant that I didn't even know existed. It was such a fun little experience. We usually just go to a tap house or a pub or something and Jack's like, nope, let's do this. So it was a lot of fun. But in doing that, I wanted to share that on the last vlog and I cut out a whole bunch of footage of yesterday afternoon. So I might show you that stuff now in this video because it will sort of make sense as to what I'm doing currently. I'm uh, back over here in the market lamb barn. These are the tail enders that I weighed up here two weeks ago, I think today. I was gonna ship them last Wednesday. Mark needed me. We ended up doing corn early. My friend actually needs a few lambs to complete a couple orders of hers. Uh, she works with a restaurant. I worked with her in the spring this year too. I had a few lambs that she could have. And again, she sort of called me in a panic saying, do you have any that you're shipping right now? And I said, actually, I'm down to my last like 20 something, 28 I think I have in this group. And she goes, can I have eight? So uh, she, has, she has specifically asked for three of my heavier ones and then the rest she said, whatever you got. And then the rest I will put back in this front pen and they'll be ready to ship tomorrow morning. So we're shipping twice tomorrow, once to the sales barn and then in the afternoon, uh, my friend's gonna come and pick up what she needs. I'm just trying to set this up. It's a little ako taco because I like bringing the lambs out of the one side and wrapping them through around the system. So I gotta sort of do some reconfiguring here. actually really not the end of the world to get another weight on these guys because it has been a couple weeks. All right, we have 20 in here and eight over there. So I will ship these in the morning, but I can just bring them up to here once these are gone. Okay, so now that you know what we're up to, <laughs> today's the day that I'm actually going to take these lambs to market and that is the tail ender so that's all that's left of my june group and then uh, my friend is coming shortly after lunch to pick up the eight that i reserved for her and then somewhere in the middle of all this my sister's coming to do some books and help me with some last minute launch stuff which is i pray happening next week it's been it's not been fun you guys on a good note my little buddy is doing really well i did get a little bit of footage of him yesterday and he's walking so much better on that back left leg uh, it's still a little bit gimpy but not nearly what it was there you go Putting a lot more weight on this back left which is nice hey buddy oh yeah looking good all right, well, I guess I'll wait for Caressa to come and give me a hand here because it's just easier to do with two people.
Well, it is much later in the day, and uh, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, this day I've been sort of on the verge of tears, or at least a minor little breakdown. Thankfully, my sister has been here today, sort of holding my hand, which is great. Um, it's all to do with my launch. I've been working on this launch for a good chunk of this year, and uh, it's just been one thing after another, and I have had like such a big weight on my chest for probably the last two months, for sure, and I sort of wish I didn't even do it this year. I think it's just, it's been too much. Mark and I have sat down a couple times, actually, in the last few weeks, just uh, looking at this side of the business and where we can make some changes. So it's one of those things we either quit doing it all together, which would be a big blow to me just because I have, I have really enjoyed the creative process behind it and figuring out what you guys would love to see. And I love the fact that our wool is being used now. And so to lose that side is just, just a real big blow to just my heart, I guess. So he's like, okay, so, we know you don't want to let that go. We have to figure out how to do it better next year. So um, yeah, so we're starting to do some planning and some visualizing. So I'm a little more excited on that end, but oh man, today, trying to get a hold of people. It's the US Thanksgiving tomorrow. A lot of the people I'm dealing with are in the States. So there's a lot of like emailing, frantic emailing, because this is where this all started. This morning I had a text from Carissa saying, I had a ewe that aborted. So the ewes could start lambing anytime now and I just wanted the launch to be sort of over and not overlapping. And I do want to look at this ewe to make sure she's okay. Carissa thankfully marked her, but I don't know where the lamb is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it looks okay, just small. Now the placenta's a bit on the, it's sort of like a, a muddy color, not the brown, yucky, mummified color, but like a, sort of like a camel-y color. It doesn't really look deformed. Like everything looks okay. It just looks maybe a couple weeks early, which it is. So, I don't know. Visually, it doesn't really look like it's deformed. Doesn't really have a spine issue. Legs look okay. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I think Chris has said she lambed close to the front here. And I saw her when I first walked in, but she ran away. Now these are all ewes that have lamb before, so there's no first time lammers. The one thing Carissa did say, there she is, is that she still looks fairly big, and she does. She's still got a little bit of cleaning. So whether she's gonna lamb again, or maybe did lamb again. That's where they are, Mark. sweetie. Part of me wants to sort of move her into a little lambing pen and just do an internal on her just to make sure there's nothing else going on. I'm a little concerned that she hasn't dropped her cleanings yet and I don't want her to get retained placenta after all this. So you see she has a little bit of discharge or uh, a little bit of afterbirth there. I just don't want to leave her without just making sure she's not in trouble. If she only had one lamb, I just, I'm shocked because she still looks quite large. You are how many days early? Uh, 22nd, like 12 days early, I think. Something like that. It's been a few hours, so she might have already been starting to close up. Yeah, she's already, her cervix is already closing up, so I think she is done. Did you have milk? Full of milk. I'm gonna give her some antibiotic because I don't like the look of the placenta. It's a little thick, mucusy. It's not great. That's my lid. There you go. There you go. I'll let you hold. Oh, you know what? I should take your number. I will transfer this over to my Gallagher once I start my lambing, but uh, it's in my phone for now. I just didn't want her running away without me getting that data. There you go. There you go. 
So although it's been sort of a rough day, I'm meeting some friends here just in town for dinner. I have not seen them since before Jess's uh, diagnosis. So I have not seen these girls since I think February. And uh, I'm really looking forward to just feeling like a normal uh, friend, woman, mom again tonight with the girls. I think it's exactly what the doctor ordered today after sort of a, a rough day. Oh my dog, she is a terror. Good morning. It is uh, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Yesterday when I took my lambs, uh, I stopped at our dealership and got my new door handle for the telehandler. So I should try to reattach this. I hope it's easy. On another note, I have, uh, I've been in here this morning and checked on our U that aborted yesterday and she has cleaned fully. So that is good news. Let's take a look at this old girl and see what we have to do here. This is what caught right here. And this is what I have to replace. What do I need for tools is the question. Oh, these are those funky hex things. Okay. Oh yeah. Why do I feel like I'm building Ikea furniture right now? So weird. All right. Well, you know the countdown's on when it's time to rearrange my cameras. If you can see, the top one is like majorly crooked. So uh, I'm going to adjust her. The other ones look pretty decent, but they could use a bit of a clean. This system here, I have four cameras down this side and it does it one camera per quarter so i should be able to see the entire length of the barn i rely on these almost every minute of every day when i'm lambing especially if i have to go so if i have to go to the house for something i have my cameras if i have to leave the property i have my cameras say it's first thing in the morning and everything seems to be quiet i go back to the house to have a coffee i can keep this on and just keep watching from the warmth of my house to see if anybody's lambing. So they come in super, super handy. This is the Nest system. We got this like, I don't know, three or four years ago, and it's been great. You do need Wi-Fi for this, so we do have Wi-Fi in the barn. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go climb, see if I can get this straighter. All right, they look really good. It's almost like putting on glasses. So they're nice and straight and clean. So nice. So hopefully the birds won't perform any more acrobatics on it. Look
Well, this afternoon I was able to steal Mark for a couple hours and we ran into town to a, it's sort of like a plant nursery type of deal, but at Christmas time, it's all Christmas. So it's literally the most glorious thing I've ever seen. He had a mission today. He wanted to make the cabin a little more Christmassy. So uh, I just got back here right now because Jess and I had to run to town to get the mail. This is what he has so far. It's so cute. Look at the garland. He has a little bow. Look at him go. I'm always the one that does the Christmas stuff. Mark never does. So this is this was all his idea today. Pretty sweet. We got a Christmas tree for inside and some decorations. I don't know if he's got that up yet. I don't think he does. Do Looks good. No Grinch this year. Cindy Lou Who. You are Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> I like those lights. They're like little fairy lights. So I had made a promise to my sister-in-law like a month ago to do some ornaments for her friends or co-workers. So I'm going to make little gnomes. I've already made the little hats. And this is the wool that I did my very first launch. This is the Christmas wool that I did. I think that was my first, maybe my second. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, so basically the little toques are really easy to make. And then I put my roving inside and then I made a little pom-pom out of my wool and we're gonna glue it together and we're gonna glue a little nose I made these this morning we'll glue a little nose on and then it'll be a little gnome a little Christmas gnome ornament more of those. Okay, here's my little gnomies. Gnomies are cute. Good morning. It is Friday. I had a comment, I think yesterday, the day before, and I think it was actually on Instagram, and someone said, could you do a day in the life of the Golden Girls? Like, what do they do all day? And I'm like, you know what? That is actually really interesting because all day when I look over randomly throughout the day, I don't usually see them. I see them outside maybe twice. Once first thing in the morning in the summer and then once at like golden hour. So right before the sun sets. They're out a little more this time of year because it's cooler. So I just don't think they like the heat. Today I thought I would follow the Golden Girls throughout their day. Uh, right now we're Sitting, we're hovering in around nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, Carissa starts chores at seven in the main barn. Uh, and it takes usually a couple hours for her to finish bedding, feeding, sweeping up, uh, doing all the things by the time she comes over here. And then I think she starts with the golden girls. Uh, we feed them a little bit of grain, mostly just to make sure they're getting a little bit of vitamins, a little bit of mineral, because there is some supplement in with the uh, with the corn. Barely any, really, just a little bit, like a handful each you, and then uh, and then they have the whole pasture to devour if they so choose. But uh, yeah, they really only go out a few times a day. But I would actually like to see every hour or two 
through today and see what they do. I'm, I'm actually curious. It was a really good comment. Ladies, this is pretty much where you congregate, isn't it? Hello, Ruby Stu. How you doing? Looking good. Tomatoes. Hi, big mama. How are ya? Billy's mom. Marge. Popcorn. All right, so yeah, we hang out here pretty much a lot. I'm just gonna take note of what time it is right this minute. 8.49. Uh, I'm gonna feed them their grain just so you see that that's what we do. Yeah, I'll come back just sporadically through the day and see what they're doing, see what they're up to. Great, kids. Eight fifty-three, and they are outside eating their grain <laughs> so we will check these guys again in an hour and a half I'm gonna run up to Brussels grab my lambing kit supplies and then when I come back I'll just drive right here and see what they're doing Well, it is what, 1038? Is that what I saw on my phone? And uh, yeah, they're just chilling. I have a funny feeling every time I sneak up on them today, this is probably what they're probably what they're gonna be doing. I'm gonna guess around, okay, so sun goes down around 5.30 right now. I'm gonna guess 4.30, 5 o'clock. We'll probably see them outside. But I'll check on them again here. Okay, so it's almost 11. I'll check on them again around noon or shortly after and see where they are. I did just get back from Brussels picking up my lambing supplies. I got everything but a few things that I need to order actually online from another sort of uh, supply company because I'm out of syringes and needles. I usually do a bulk order maybe once or twice a year and I'm almost out so I need to sort of restock my shelves for that, but I'll show you what I picked up today anyway. I had stuff left over from the last lambing group, so I already had 100 tags, so I got 100 more. This is like the best news ever. I had extra calcium boroglucanate, which means, knock on wood, I did not have any preg talks in my last group. I had one paint can left over, green, but I did buy the red, blue, purple, and then I got a little thing of blue because I couldn't remember. Oh, I had a full one, so I didn't need it, but it's a nice little bottle, so that's sort of why I got this because the other one comes in bulk, and my little squeeze bottle um, is just getting a little grungy, so I figured it wouldn't hurt to have a spare. Uh, OB gloves, little gloves, and then a whole case of colostrum. And like I said, I need a restock on all my uh, syringes and needles and such. So I might run in right now, so I won't remember to do it. I should actually check on the flock. Someone came to visit us. What do you got on? It's really cold today, isn't it? You like that? How about your hood? All right, as you were. I was trying to remember if we had any special guests in this particular lambing group. Uh, off the top of my head, I know we have the original little baby red, so Mama Red's first ewe. So she lambed in March, I believe. And uh, we had some issues with our feed and we had a few first time ewes that were trying to prolapse and she was one. So she was wearing a harness, her very first lambing. Uh, I had a good talk with Rex and we ended up keeping her as sort of an experiment to see if she would do it again. Um, so I'm hoping it doesn't kick me in the butt. We'll see how she fares. The other one is uh, a ewe lamb that's, she's chewing her cud way over yonder. 
Uh, we used to call her sister or sister bear or something like that. She's a friendly you. She usually, she's usually always climbing the bunks. And then the third one that I know of for sure is uh, cinnamon. And cinnamon, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to be as friendly, so I can never find her. And especially this group, she wasn't pregnant at her last scan, so uh, she skipped a group. So she's in with this group, and I just have a lot of brown-faced Ritos that look just like her. But here's Red. Hi. Are you friendly now? Yeah, I'm looking at you. Hi. <laughs> this is the other friendly one. This is Sister. We should give you a better name than that. Hmm? See? Cinny. Is that you? Is that you? I think it is. I think that's Cinny. See what I mean though? Like, you know, there's so many that look like her. Huh? I think that's you. I should expand a little bit on Little Red here. Typically, if I have a U or a U lamb that, that prolapses or is trying to prolapse, I do not keep them. But if you look back at those videos, I had like three, two or three that were trying to prolapse. And I'm like, this doesn't happen. I was feeding a real bulky feed. So once I started sort of making the feed denser, they seemed to come around. So I remember Rex just saying, they don't have enough room for all that feed and all those babies. A lot of those ewe lambs were having triplets their first go. I'm doing everything to the book. So I'm hoping, knock on wood, that there's no prolapses and no preg talks. That's the goal. And it just makes lambing so much more enjoyable. So it would be really nice if we could just keep this as status quo for another like 10 days. That'd be great. You don't say. 113. Just a little more of the same, I guess. This is what they do. They just sort of chill. Are you gonna do anything today? No? Oh my god, they do look cozy though. I took a little bit longer to check in on them just because I was working on some more launch stuff on the computer and I looked at my watch, I'm like, oh my god! I want to clean off my front porch uh, and put up some garland because Mark is making me feel bad that the cabin looks better than the house now. I decided I hated the garland out here because my porch is really ugly and sort of falling down. So I just went with my lights that I had on here since like, I don't know, for like two years. And then my old Canadian tire trees that are barely still working, but they're still working. All right, I decided to put the garland on my fence and I put my new strand of lights around her. So this fence looks really nice at night. It does not look nice right now. Have you moved it all, Big Mom? Hello, tomatoes. Tomatoes is chewing her cat. That's a good sign. Ruby Sue's chewing her cat. Good. 2.51. 3 o'clock. You haven't moved. All right. See you in a couple hours. Well, Murphy's Law, I came into the house to warm up and it is 324 and the ladies have finally wandered outside. First time all day. Little update on our flooded pasture. There is potentially, well, I think there's good potential that we've got a broken field tile. So this is literally, this is why we tile our fields. This is insane the amount of water here it is i've never seen this much water even on a big like spring melt we've never had this much so it's uh it's definitely deep it's starting to freeze i don't know if it's going to get fixed this year before winter uh but mark said we're definitely going to have to probably reseed quite a bit of this pasture which probably should happen anyway it's been a hot minute happy girls Hi. 
No, stay where you are. It's okay. It's fine. You can stay outside. 4.58. Wow. It's been a while. Okay, well, it's 5 o'clock and they are still outside. So it's been, what, an hour and a half? You guys have been out for a while. You're getting your feet on. That's good. <laughs> I have a hair appointment tonight at 7. So maybe I'll come in an hour and a half and check to see where you guys are. I'm assuming since it's gonna be dark that they'll soon be indoors now. But it's good to see them out. They have not touched my pumpkins yet. Look at my house. It looks so good. So nice. They do go out at night. I did not know that. Day in the life of my golden girls. They have been outside since about 3.30. I am shocked. Okay, I gotta go get my hair done. Bye!